Welcome. Mannheim Dashboard was designed to help Mannheim clients navigate the new normal of digital buying. One of the early adopters of the tool put it this way. Mannheim Dashboard really streamlines the researching and buying process. All the data you need right at your fingertips to evaluate an auction car all in one place. We wear so many hats at the dealership today. My time is valuable and I don't have any extra. Mannheim Dashboard makes it simple. So let's get started with our demonstration. You'll access the Mannheim dashboard through your V-Auto Provision home screen. Once you link to the home page or the platform page, you'll have direct access to Mannheim.com, OVE, and other private stores that Mannheim supports. Let's go to the Mannheim.com page. You'll have the same experience here as if you went directly from a web browser to Mannheim.com. But what's different is it's framed in, and over to the right is all the data from your V-Auto provision appraisal screen, and more, in the glance. These vehicle insights allow you to make better, faster decisions on wholesale vehicles. So let's go ahead and search for some vehicles on Mannheim.com. Here's our search result page, and you'll notice the difference on our SRP is a light bulb and a starring system. We also have our Carfax snapshot or pillars for quick vehicle history review. In the starring system, I could put a gold star on to save this vehicle as a favorite, or I could put a red star on it and never want to see it again while I'm doing some pre-sale work to eliminate it. Notice all the R book information from your provision inventory management suite. Adjusted average list price, average odometer, market day supply, both year, make, and model, and like mine, your local live market view with one click. We have your wholesale data, like MMR, and in each of these glance cells, you can click into them and get a deeper dive, like the transaction data that determined the MMR average. All of the books that you have in your provision inventory management suite will carry over to the glance, black book, gals, whatever you have subscriptions to. We also provide you with the Auto Trader Scarcity Index. You do not have to have inventory on Auto Trader to get this demand metric. Find third party site listings on Auto Trader, CarGurus, Cars.com. By clicking into one of these, you can actually see similar vehicles on those sites that are listed in your area, and you can change the distance to see the number of units, including the average price they list for. KBB data, readily available. Carfax or AutoCheck, or both, depending on your subscription. And down below here, we have a window that provides you with an easy access to the detail service records and any other detail you need to review. See the CR score. And by clicking into the cell, I can actually drill into the details, quickly find all the data to make a solid reconditioning estimate. And this is a great time to be able to use the notes pad. I can insert reconditioning items to keep track of this later. This note will follow the vehicle particularly if I put a gold star on it. From here, I can go directly into the vehicle detail page, which allows me to go ahead and enter a proxy bid or enter the live sale if it's time. Or if it were a buy it now vehicle, go ahead and transact. I can even get a quote from Ready Logistics for transportation. And finally, I can perform a full V auto appraisal right from this glance cell. By clicking this, it opens up my V-Auto appraisal page. All of the information is pre-populated. I don't have to type in any of this info again. No cutting and pasting. Pull open my appraisal screen, conduct my appraisal, finalize it, and it will save the appraised value for the vehicle. The value will also follow it when I go to view it later, whether it be in simulcast or to go ahead and place a proxy bid. If you currently have a profit time, Finalizing my appraisal will provide my profit time score as well. Going back to my notes after I've done a V-Auto appraisal, I may want to go ahead and insert my up to bid value that will follow the vehicle of interest. And when the chaos of simulcast begins or I get interrupted or need to multitask, my time invested is protected and documented. Going back to my platform page, if I were to go to OBE directly, I'll have the same experience. Here are the icons on my SRP, the stars, the light bulbs, and again, all of my V-Auto provision data and more in the glance with one click of a light bulb. Now for an added bonus, check out this simulcast auction video demonstration. 
our trainer will walk you through the benefit of identifying vehicles that you have researched. See how Mannheim Dashboard can alert you when it's time to bid as they come through the lane in a live sale. The Mannheim Dashboard will bring all of your pre-sale work into the lane as you buy your cars through Simulcast. If you have cars saved to your favorites list, you can join a live sale from the upcoming auctions on the bottom of the platforms page when you first open the dashboard. You can also join the lane how you did before in the Mannheim.com platform, as this platform is the same website as Mannheim.com. Today I will open a lane from the simulcast schedule. Each lane will open in a new tab and be labeled with the lane, run number, and name of the auction. The run number will update as the vehicles hit the block so that you can always tell where they're at in the sale. To open another lane, go back to your initial tab and click the next enter sale button. This will also open its own tab and be labeled with the lane, run number, and name of the auction so you can easily distinguish which tab has each lane. As the VIN hits the block, the Mannheim dashboard will populate all of the information for that VIN and mileage in your glance components, just like it does in the pre-sale process. Any notes you saved will also populate in the notepad at that time. You can open the full components by clicking on the cells in the glance, including your appraisal sheet. You can open the Favorites from here by clicking the Favorites tab at the bottom. Be sure to avoid clicking the X in the corner of the report to avoid uninstalling the component. If you do click the X, just close the App Store. To get back to the simulcast window, click the name of the car in the glance box, the top gray bar, or the simulcast tab on the bottom left. If you saved a car to your workbook or the favorites list, when they hit the block, you'll get three notifications. The first is a symbol blinking in your tab. A blinking checkmark indicates a workbook item and a blinking star indicates a favorited item. You will also hear an announcement with the lane and run number, along with an additional audible notification. A honk for the workbook cars and a revving engine for the favorited cars. This notification happens only when the VIN hits the block in case they run the cars out of order. You will need to click into the tab to place your bid if you're not already in that lane. There will also be light bulb stars and the Carfax snapshot in the upcoming vehicles list. These function the same as in the pre-sale process, but when you click the light bulb here, it puts you in preview mode. In preview mode, your glance notes and components are filled with the information for the VIN and mileage of the car you just clicked until that VIN hits the block or you click the resume lane sync button. This button will replace the bidding button while in preview mode. You can add the car to your favorites from here and add any notes so that when that car hits the block later in the sale, you'll get your alert and see your note right away. Preview mode also disables your bidding and notifications so that you don't make an honest mistake and bid on a car using the wrong information. The tab at the top will show you're in preview mode with a back and forth arrow. Once the VIN of that car hits the block or you click resume lane sync, you'll be able to bid and get your notifications. The last piece of the simulcast platform is the lane monitor. The lane monitor helps identify vehicles of interest as they run through the block. If a vehicle of interest hits the block, well, you will get the same notifications as the workbook and favorite cars, but it will have a blinking diamond in the tab and make the sound of a cash register. To add items to the lane monitor, open the component from the bottom right-hand corner of your simulcast platform. Click the green button at the top that says Add Item and fill out any criteria you need. The first section is Matching Criteria, which includes your mileage and condition reports. It also includes a check mark to only alert you if the vehicle is a provision recommended car for users with a provisioning suite. You can also use the keyword section for things like make, model, and color. Once vehicles matching this criteria hits the block, you'll get the lane monitor alert. The second section is bid versus value criteria. Here you can create an alert for when the bidding goes a certain amount back of your books or retail comparables. Just type in the amount you want the amount back you want it to alert you and specify which book and book value you want it based on. Once the bidding goes to or below your specified parameters, you'll get the lane monitor alert. The last section is informational use only and is used to place any notes on these items like the name of the customer interested in the car. 
then click Save. You can expand the filters by clicking the arrow next to the item. You can edit the filters by clicking the pencil. And you can delete the item by clicking the trash can and then remove. In the settings, you can add exclusions for vehicle conditions that would eliminate the vehicle from your interest. Just click the gear icon by Lane Monitor and go to Settings. Then you can click each section and the items you'd like to eliminate and then click Save. These exclusions will apply to all items you add to the Lane Monitor. As you can see, the Mannheim dashboard makes it easy to manage your simulcast sales and make informed decisions while the bidding is live by showing you all of the data for each vehicle that hits the block. If you have any questions or need assistance with navigating the simulcast platform, please reference the follow-up email from your initial meeting with your setup specialist.